staring out there menacingly. Um, let's start the stream. Happy Saturday night. Go ahead and get my starting stream against the backdrop of numbers being said in a creepily manner. Uh, on the docket tonight, we're going to hopefully finish this game. Uh, this game that, this is the third part we're doing. Um, I don't know how much longer I've got, but hopefully not too long, honestly. Uh, these, the first two parts we've done, I've maybe like two and a half hours or so in. Maybe a little over two hours. Not the most impressed. Uh, maybe this back half of the game, uh, maybe this ending will save this game for me, uh, opinion-wise, as a walking simulator, but, um, we'll see. We'll have to see. Um, but then, uh, of course, as long as this doesn't take super long to finish, and, you know, I don't get massively tired, we'll go ahead and we'll start a new game that I've been talking about a bit. Uh, sorry, checking something real quick. Okay, uh, a new game downloaded that will start for maybe just a bit. But that will be wholly depending on if I can get this done now. Uh, let's see what the fuck I'm doing. That was creepy. It's creepy. That's just waiting out there for me. Um. <gasps> okay. Honestly, if you ask me, I think, again, the chances are maybe I'm just dumb. But, uh. If you were to ask me what the fuck is actually going on in this game, it's either, and I think I said this in the second part too, but um, either it's supposed to be very mysterious still so far, or I am just dumb and I don't get exactly what this is building up to. You know, maybe I am just really just very dense, just very... The radio telescope in Tower 6 is burned out. I think I've maybe Background already Background radiation this. coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. Strange. My face is still numb from the burn. Yep, I remember the message of her face still being numb, so... Oh, I, I hear the light ball. The scary, eerie light ball. Where is it? Where are you? Show yourself! Oh, I remember where we were. Okay. So we had gone through the corn area. Found this little sh house and sheds. Uh, so we kind of took like a detour, but I'm pretty sure we're now go heading this way. I think I have at... Oh, there it is. Oh, God. I think I have at least two hours still left of this, and at most, like, three hours, depending on how fast I am, potentially. So, I'm not entirely sure, but I would like to just finish this game. <laughs> oh, water. Water. What are you waiting for, game? Tell me what this is about. Well, I, I could say I know what it's technically about, but I'm just like, why? That's been my thing so far, it's just like, why? Why am I going so slow in this area? I just start going really slow all of a sudden? Or am I just thinking this is really slow? I hung up on Stephen. He doesn't understand. Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. There has to be a way of consolidating. 
of offering a reciprocal amplification to the signal. Yeah. Well, the jarring ladder movement. Oh, I see our friend out there in the distance. Also, another thing I don't feel great about is, like, nothing really stands out. Like, all these houses, I would honestly love to just explore every house along the path, right? But, like, I couldn't tell you... And Okay, here's here's how I feel. What I'm saying with that is, I would love... In these types of games, in these walking, slow, just adventure-type games, I want to explore everything. I want to go to every house and be like, oh, here's... Uh, go see what little small things could be over there a little message anything just visuals visual storytelling I want to go see but I'm looking at this and I go I don't remember if I hit that house yet but do I really want to go to that house at this slow ass walking pace and then either see that it's something new and be like oh cool or I'm like oh I already was fucking here now I gotta walk back here and and then I'm gonna potentially get lost again, and I gotta find the fucking ball of light because I don't know what where the path is, where I'm heading. You know, that's so far my biggest complaint of this is that I want to experience everything in a game like this, in a walking simulator game. I want to experience it all, but so, but like this is, like, and it happened in the other parts too, where I was like fucking. I, was, I get to house, and then I explore the house, and then I get out of the house, and I'm like, wait, which way is the way I haven't been yet? And then I have to, like, go walk around and find my place again, and... <sighs> and I don't know if these are valid complaints or not. Here's something. I did it. I did it! Frank! Frank, for God's sake, stop! Keep back, you bastard. I know what you've done. Where's Lizzie? Where is she? I've got to find her. You stay away. Someone's got to warn them. Someone's got to stop it. You can't stop it. You have to understand. You hate me, I get that. But if we don't do this, it's not just the valley. It's everything, Frank. It's all gone. You're talking bollocks. You can't stop it! Jesus! Bollocks! I'll take one step closer. Bash your bloody skull in, I swear to God. All right, all right, I'm going. But if you see Lizzie, tell her to get out. There's still time. Please, Frank, for her, not me. If you're that bloody caring, you can save her yourself. Don't you get it? I have to stay. Someone has to be here to confirm that everyone is dead. Okay. I'm going that way. Uh, it's the windmill I think I saw maybe way get long ago. Maybe back in that... The first part of the game? So where are we going, Ball of Light? Back here or that way? Got the telescope up and running again, but the pattern has burnt itself onto the lens. It's soaking up light and radiation, but not routing it anywhere. So I can only guess that it's using it as an energy source in its attempts to communicate. It needs more power. I wonder if I could boost the reception by using multiple towers. Yeah, multiple towers. Yeah, yeah. I'm really hoping this game's ending redeems my thoughts on it, because I want, I always want to like these types of games. I want to put the time in, I want to experience something cool, I want to be told a cool narrative, and I don't want to be let down, but... It's not looking great, you know? Did I go backwards at this point? I'll head back this way. 
Oh, there's our friend. Maybe I need to go back towards the windmill. Windmill, windmill for the land. I want to see something. Keep looking, keep moving. Yeah, okay. Just make sure. Alright, I'll follow the ball of light. Let's go. Windmill, windmill. Don't start heading back. We're going forward, man. Forward march. Huh. Let me up. Let me up. Ah, yeah. Love forever, hand in hand. Oh, we are going to the windmill. any of it but what am I looking at oh my god it's so bright uh I am there here it comes ah it's on to me open I don't think I can go in. How utterly disappointing. I mean, I can look at it, but it's just not the same. something. I see nice little umbrellas out in the distance. Looks nice and inviting. Can I uh, cut through to get there? Nope. I cannot. Why would you think such a thing, Austin? Just on my path, man. Lizzie! Lizzie, is that, is that you? I'm coming, I'm coming. Lakeside Holiday Camp. The heart of Yalton Valley. Oh, here we go. Nope. Mrs. Graves, 
Lizzie, Mrs. Graves! Rachel? Hey, what on earth's going on? It's been awful. The thunder and the lightning and all the power went out. And everyone was in the hall, so I told them all to stay put. And then Sean, Sean Davis said he was going to be told what to do by a stupid bloody girl. Well, oh, fuck sick. Sean Davies. And then Dick come back. And then Di, she went out after him and she didn't come back either. Where is Dylan? Was he with Sean and Di? Di. Well, be looking after him. Di. Do you think they'll come back? I don't know, Rachel. That's reassuring. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. But don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here, and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. Is that a phone? Where's the phone? Where be at that phone? Now where am I? There I am. Oh, it's got little numbers. Uh, oh, cool. You can see. Uh, swimming swimming pool. Oh, our little camp area. I hear the phone over here. Uh, fear gas for gas is sold here. It's coming in from inside. Hello. You can't save them. Just pack a case and meet me at the station. They've closed the lines. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, even I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. Well, like you're not using one right now. Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me. Don't tell anyone. Pack quietly. Meet me at the station Soap tomorrow. Soap dispenser. Right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people Soap, here. Soap, bleach, softeners. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that you clever thing. So no. I'll see you tomorrow. She doesn't love you, man. She did not reciprocate. It's unfortunate. This camp is wet. here. Aha! Missing. Seen around the camp. Uh... Five, eight. Huh. Nope. Nope. Windmill. Nope. Lots of words. Nope. A little stage. All these flecks of dust or something in the air. I probably should put that out. Oh, I really wanted to play the piano.
This is creepy. This is very creepy. Open. I hear a phone back there. Let me answer the telephone. Oh, damn, I can't. Oh, can I get up this way? Using books? Oh, almost. I guess I can't get back there? So not really a fan of the, the rain making this even creepier. raining uh, rain oh, hello oh, hello boy Shipley I want a word with you what get over here soft lad and keep your voice down do you know who I am yeah you work for Meg Holloway Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? No. Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. Well, she's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, well. though. You can't stop, love. No, oh, God. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. Boy. How many times can I tell you I love a 16 year old? I know at some point that's someone's gonna dig through the archives, find that audio clip of me saying that, use it against me. Look at the little archway of flowers. I heard like children screaming. Something's going on in here. Don't touch it. It's fine. It's like a sunburn, but it's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't believe that you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? She's probably not even noticed That's I've gone. Framey. Look at that framiness. Really nothing. You're lying. Don't lie to me. It's fine. like framiness with we the motion blur around. just makes us... She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something got your I don't face know. burnt. Just got a bit shaken up, and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me or her? She's fine. Hey, We're oh. both fine. I don't want to talk about her. I came here to see you. I just worry. Well, you. don't. Come to bed. Let's get it on. So I say it's really storming out there. Get in the bed. I'm 
going to concentrate all five remaining towers on the same point in the sky. If it is establishing conduits for communication, that should create a jump in bandwidth. Get on this tennis court. There I am. Let me in. Hey, it's just been on the radio that they're closing the roads. Something about the flu? No one here has flu, Sean. There's no flu here. I overheard Mrs. Graves, and she said another family of Upton left. She said they must have left last night, but the car and all their stuff's still here. Screw this day. There's 15 people Upton left in two days. I don't like it. Yeah, it's quite a coincidence. Where's the baby? Asleep in the caravan. Sean, I don't want to sit around you waiting for it to get worse. I reckon if we leave now, we can get out of the valley before they get their acts together and close the roads. You think so? Yeah, we can go the back roads. Through the woods. I'll leave some money on the side for Mrs. Graves. You know her husband isn't back here either. He's a boozer, right? That's what I've heard. That's her problem anyway. Don't be unkind, Ooh. Sean. Come on, let's go Don't get be dinner. unkind. Now let's play some tennis. Don't be unkind. It's all in the stream. If I can remember. Be good and don't be unkind. Jiggle the lock. Fit. I think it was instant. I, I know that's no help. Can you leave me alone? There was nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Ben. Oh, you woke the baby. Just leave me alone. Rachel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm. 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 Parking. Free parking. Should I go that way or should I stick on the road? Eh. Let's go this way. Let's do something. Ew, look at all muddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fresh linens getting. Fucking rained on. No good. I was wondering if that was the door. Found it like this? Yeah. I got into the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills. Mr. Coles is not a well man, Elizabeth. It's entirely possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, the mind can be a fragile thing, you know? It's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses doctor. the mid morning bingo. He didn't smoke. Mm, bingo. Not that I knew of. There's a funny. It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned in here yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette. Oh, that frame. Oh. Strange. Dr. Wade has just been a phone call. We need you back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. Soggy toilet paper. Thought I heard another radio. Where is it? Where are you? Where are ya?
Is it a big one and then a little baby light? That's the baby. Is it a baby? I don't fucking know. It's quite something, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You ever seen anything like it? Child, I mean, I don't know. They must be well happy at the observatory place. They're probably all partying there right now. This is right, boss. <laughs> it is. Right, boss. Right. That's me. Short leash. Kids up half for night. Bloody teething. Mrs. will kill me if I'm gone too long. <laughs> Good night, Ned. No. I Oh, gotta go see over here. Oh, there's nothing in here. And I was a fool to think so. Bathrooms. Can't get in. Shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. Yeah. It's Stephen's fault. He got me started again. No smoking. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I, I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Well, he's clever. You got to give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him. So I'd hope that was good enough. I hope so, too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan, the kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. Hey, did you see that? Ah! Spooky. B -b 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 Spooky. Or are they painting the flowers? Or at least a couple of them were. I gotta say, I do like the ambient music and stuff of the game. Um, so far, that's kind of just where my pauses so far just kind of are ending. It doesn't look bad either, um, but the technical things, like the weird framiness plus motion blur type situation.
All five towers are now operating together, and I've got the reception up to the red zone, but it's not enough. I'm going to try and route the signal through Tower 6 to create a singular point of reception and re-coordinate the optical array, which should, in theory, focus a signal spike on the point of origin. If I conceptualize this origin point as a seventh tower, then it makes a kind of sense. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. I think we're moving so far beyond everything I understand about physics. Anyway, it's got to be worth a shot. The tower just rumbled. That was spooky. Now where the fuck am I going? This is a public service announcement from Hamilton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and in the woods. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. Be sure to report any symptoms of illness. That noise. Whip, 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 whip. Cool rules. No bombing. No ducking. What is ducking? Oh, dunking. But they call it ducking. Ooh, no heavy petting. No heavy petting? What the fuck are the children doing here? Also, he petting. <laughs> what a term. No petting. Stop it with that petting. Stop it! Don't let me see you pet that other person. Let me get that. Oh. Is your hip giving you grief today? Always gives me grief. And I managed for the last ten years, so you're a little late for the knight in shining armor routine. Suit yourself, I'm only trying to help. God damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along forever. Look around you. Damn. I made all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You've given up on me long before the accident. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. Ooh. Anything except okay? Ooh. I thought not. I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. Damn. Damn. Stop raining. It's over here. Well, oh, I'm picking up speed. Go, go, go. Follow the trail. Where will it lead? Nobody knows. I don't know. That's no. It looked like it was gonna be uh, gonna be open. Wait, main hall. I went all the way around. Oh God. Oh God. Well, now where? Oh no, it's the weird sound effect again. Whip, 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 whip. I'm just gonna go this way. I hope something pops up. <laughs> uh, 
maybe. Oh, ball of light, where are you? Course laundry, pool, playground. Been to all of those places, right? Whoa. Oh, there it is. This is Follow a public service announcement. Follow that light. District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Follow it. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. But be sure to report any symptoms. Alright, I'm following you. Don't let me down. We're going against the arrow. Got a bad feeling it's gonna take me to nowhere. But what options do I have? Wait, this kind of feels new. Yeah. Whatever's wrong, you look terrible, Mrs. Graves. Die. James, baby Dylan, is he all right? Oh, it's Diana. Die. Short for die. Okay? Die. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it. Die. Can die. you try and get out of the valley? All the roads are shut down. I know. I was driving really fast, but the other car was on the wrong side of the road, and... Oh, God, I think die, he... Die, for fuck's sake, leave it. Don't right. tell him. You killed hey, someone or something. You're all right. Sean's all right, baby Dylan's all right. That is what matters. Everyone's matters. all right. But no. No. Now I need your help. Some of the children, they're getting quite frightened. So Rachel and I, we decided to push forward the show, keep them occupied. You said the other night you play piano. Can you help with that? Yes, yes, I suppose so, but Mr. Play the Graves, piano like your life depends on it. After himself, he's a big boy now. Don't worry. Just head to the hall and find Rachel. She'll tell you what needs practicing. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Graves. Yeah, Sean. Go and find Reese, please, see if he needs some help. Yeah, of course. Go on. Oh, Robert. Well, the ball is leaving me. This is a dead end. Should I followed ball? Well, at least I'll get another radio blip. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. But should I go that way? I should go that way. If I can. Yeah. Just slowly walk into the water. That'll do. I don't think there's anything over here. It's all a sham. Uh oh, I'm not gonna be able to get in. Oh, here we go. 
Well, they live nearby, don't they? Yeah, in the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves? Strategic bush. I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's sober. He'll be all right. Do you want me to go and look for him? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number, then I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. <laughs> Playground. Alright, I'm gonna follow you again. You haven't really let me down too much. I kinda need to slow down a bit here. Just just barely. Just, just give me a, a little bit of time here. Hello. Elizabeth. Oh, put her in her place. I heard a lot about you. It's good. You know, uh -oh. you and Emma. It's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry. You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago. We moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. Damn. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Or well, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth. But Lizzie, please. <laughs> Such a petty laugh. Right. Damn. You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. It's a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it is. We'll do our best then. E. E. Where are we heading? Where are we heading? Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going as fast as we can here. Bump, 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 but it's a race. Me versus Scary Ball of Light. Back to the main hall. Oh, good. Oh, it is saying all holiday makers to the main hall. Good point. You want me in there? You want me to go in? You want me in here? Are we leaving? Don't leave without me. Haven't I been in here though? Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Oh, is something available in here now? Is that what I'm sensing? That is what I'm sensing. Oh, it's a big one. Uh, well, come on. Do it. Ah! I did it. I think. There we go. It's very difficult to tilt that controller. Sleeping baby. 
darling child. Clouds and starlight. Starlight, starlight. When you wake, you will be mine. Starlight. Sleep and love. Sleeping baby, shadow dust, clouds and starlight, numbered starlight. When we're called to go, we must, we must, into starlight. Counter purchase. And love. Asleep. You all right, kid? I'll be all right. Hey. You should get some sleep, Charlie. You look exhausted. Cue the music. What's all this? Do as I do and follow the lights here. At a very slow, slow, slow pace. I'm coming, I'm coming. can't go that fast. I have very slow speed here. They're waiting on me like, can you uh, hurry it up just a bit? And I'm like, I physically cannot. This is my fi fastest speed here. I gotta say, I do like looking at the color of the sky. Uh, there we go. Two positives so far for the game. We're slowly building the list. I don't know. I like the concepts. I like... I like the attempts the game are making, you know. I just... I don't know if it all comes together the way I kind of had imagined or kind of wanted it to. I think maybe I expected a bit more, but that's maybe more my fault and not the game's fault. I'm data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of there. It's not safe. I need you, Stephen. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening. No, here. you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find. Don't mansplain to her. I just need more. You don't understand, I need to Stephen. The signal and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers. Remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. It's not just you and me anymore, though, is it? 
Jesus, Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Kate, you can't. Stephen, I have to. controller rumbled again for some reason that I'm not 100% sure sure of but we're rolling with it oh it's more like a fireball now I like how even the balls of light do have like a certain personality it won't start by the way they move the camp I think we should split up you go and fetch Rachel I'll go back to the village and find Evie I don't think we should split Evie. up I don't want to either Charlie but we've got to I'll meet you back at my house later on. I think we can talk properly. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Mag. Just take care of her. Mag! What is Mag. it, Charlie? Mag. Nothing. Just be careful, that's all. I will, I promise. You as well. I'll see you later on. Almost everyone in this game is very exceptionally British in their mannerisms. I love it. Look at that. Where am I? I feel like I've explored this whole place like two times over at this point. Okay. Just go down. Oh god. It's me driving. All the time. Four legs. Ah! Get away from me. Thirty. So I hear a phone. Do hear a phone in this creepy warehouse? Oh God! On the creepy desk in the creepy corner of this warehouse. But why on earth are you there? Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify. Sorry, I'm not making much sense. No. Nope. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark, do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Well, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to explain. Thumbs up. Lizzie, listen. Spooky Pete, noise. Ready. I need to go. It's moving again. I'll call you later. What the fuck is going on? I just want some explanations. And I have just the baddest of feelings that I'm not going to get anything. This is going to have some very disappointing conclusion, I feel like. I will feel like I've played this for five hours. All for naught. All for naught. Let's go to this thing. Uh oh, it's coming for me. Gotta get him in the house. Oh god, here we go. Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think so. It'll be an adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? Yeah. But to stay here, it's not her place, you know. Don't yeah. stop again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's well older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. 
I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language. Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's, she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Yeah, mum. Stark. Love being serenaded with the chorus every time I see some uh, tense British conversation. Really sets the mood. Walking around this empty house like I'm. <laughs> My uh, panting gag doesn't really work if I'm walking at a snail space, though. It's very unfortunate. Uh, now where am I? I feel like over the course of this of these three parts that I've played this game in, I've probably said, now where am I? Like, a million times. <laughs> I've emerged from a house or something and just been like, where the fuck am I? What's going on? That's not something I can get to. Let's head back to the front of the house. Doesn't seem to be a lot going on in the front, or in the back. I hear the radio again over here. Creepy numbers. Physical changes are evident. Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both speaker and listener simultaneously. I am a scientist. What should I, I can zoom only in? deal with the evidence I have. I can see. And this points in one simple direction. I got two old man eyes to see. It's not in the observatory. It's in me. Ew. Topical. Uh, okay. Is this a gate? No. Well, it is a gate, but not an openable gate, I should say. I hear a telephone. It's me, the guy who wanders from noise to noise so that he does not get lost. Give it to me. Give it. Oh. Hey, can you hear me? Open. I started the phone without opening the door. Listen. I'm trying to make things right. I've isolated myself. I'm in the old bunker at the substation. Just keep this band clear. If it's still alive, I'll try and check in every hour. I've convinced them to use the gas. I, I didn't know how else to stop it. I couldn't save them. It sees me hiding in the phone booth. Kate, it's in us, too. It's waiting for I me. I made arrangements for myself after the strike, after I finished the job. You need to think of that, too. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it all. Too little, too late, Stephen. Ah! At least he was kind enough to wait for me to finish the phone message. I hear another noise. Now let's go ahead into this house. Ah! 
be something up the stairs. Make sure that does not open. Yeah. No. Ah. Aha. Little child's room. This creepy music play. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. I'm out before I get too spooked. Uh, oh, wondrous ball of light. Where am I heading? This way? Wait, no. We were here. And then we went there. This way. I think. But who honestly knows? Who can say for sure? Not to I. You wanna chill? What? What? What's over here? The seventh whistler. What happened to the other six? Nobody knows. That was dumb. Uh, curry and pint. What was that sound? Ugh. You look well. Whoa! <laughs> fucking don't. spooked the shit out of me. Oh, thank you. You do. I have my back turned and then I hear footsteps thinking something finally else is in the world coming to just How fucking scoop me up. Nothing changes around here. Jesus. I mean, it's great to be back. It still feels like home. My heart is but racing. <laughs> in a funny kind of way. It's been a long time, Stephen. Last time you saw me, I could still walk properly. You look pretty good to me. Stop it. Let's get it on. What's well, worse? I'm sorry about how things worked out. Or didn't. Or didn't, right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? Hey, all the day, it depends. My mum tells me it's never too late to change things. To put things right. Funny. 
It's just what she said to me the other day. I have been wondering what she meant by that. That's embarrassing. Sorry. Yeah, oh, maybe I should go. Why? Stephen, we're both married. I don't think this is a good idea. What isn't? Uh. We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. Ah, yes. So innocent. Please. We're just two old friends having a drink. Alright, I'm heading this way. A public footpath, ah. Uh. Ooh, that motion blur. Ooh. It's not as bad while I'm playing, but I, uh... I've been, uh, re-watching as I'm getting the archives up, and, uh... Jesus, it does make me kind of go, Ooh. A little bit watching the first personness of it and uh, seeing the motion blur a bit. It's not great. It's not great. And I don't normally get like that, but it's uh, doesn't. I'm coming. I'm coming. Pressure in my eyes again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. Caught me, lowered me here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. The printers are spewing out page after page of zeros. Duh. It's frightened too. Zeros. Look at it. It's okay. I can help you. We can be together now. Ten seconds to signal fusion. We can be together. Three seconds. Two. I heard that and was like, I'm out of here. trains I'll put up a sign the tunnel Howard is it closed I think so I don't like it it's not right at all stop whining it doesn't help anyone did you know you're bleeding oh, it's this headache it's just killing me I haven't had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid but you've not been to the village no I've been here the last couple of days or at home I've only spoken to Clive at the EMC on the phone well tried to anyway but with all the crossed lines it... but no direct contact with any other people no no one what are you talking about? What's going on? It's the pattern. It's adapted again. It's the pattern. It doesn't need direct contact to transfer. It's using the phones. What do you mean direct contact? Stephen! Stephen! <laughs> fuck are you on about, Stephen? Is that noise? Sound like a fax machine or something. Alright, well I'll I'll follow it. I'd rather not get lost again.
lost while exploring. This is Catherine Collins, recording for posterity. It's all over. I don't know how long I've got. Whatever he did, whatever the planes were carrying, it's burning my lungs. Ugh. Probably some kind of nerve agent. I suspect it's only exposure to the pattern that has kept me alive this long. Pattern. I'm making my way to Tower 6. I'm going to fuse the signals from the optical array. I just... I just hope I can make it. Standing there menacingly. fuck is that noise there are too many noises going on that spook me it needs to stop dial up sounding noises fax machine noises printer noises this ball of light that follows me people's footsteps I'm too easily stupid. You're a daft old bird walking all the way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What? And have that stinking green what? lorry of his poisoning my birds. Lorry. He shouldn't be driving it on so these British. lanes. It's a hazard. I think Look how framey. Oh. Frank. There's nothing to oh, say. This looks horrible. Listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird feeder right now. Promise me you'll drop by and see your brother. Megan Holloway, give Not me... a chance. Promise me. It's for your own good, and you know it. You are a shamelessly manipulative and difficult woman. It's no wonder Damn. Charlie adores you so much. No wonder hey you what? No wonder you never finish what you start. I thought I told you to check the incoming stock orders. Wendy, one bird feeder for you. I'll tell Frank you'll stop by. Oh. Charlie, stop oh. leaning around and stick the kettle on. Make yourself useful. God, half of the people I've met in this game seem kind of insufferable. Oh, I kind of can't go that way. The lorry. Something's going on over here. Alright. Oh, it's so slow. Go! Oh. Did it. Appleton! What are you doing here? You thieving bastard. I knew it was you. Uh oh. Take everything you need. But then you have to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting these stupid little pictures. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here. Don't touch me. Get off. What's going on? Come in here. Ah. Get Jesus, off. over us. Thinking you're so much better. Try it. No, no, no physical you contact. You stupid fucking missus. She's it. better than any of you. <laughs> well, there go the cans. Sam. Sam. <laughs> Meg, please. Don't come near me. Meg! Charlie! Meg. Meg. Straight up murder. Don't touch me! Please, you have to understand, it was an accident. Get off her. Let go, let's just go. Charlie, you have to understand, it was an accident. Just leave him, leave him. What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's just Meg, get out Charlie, of here. Meg, Charlie, please! Uh... Uh... That's no good. Let's see where 
where the fuck is out of here. Nope. I still appreciate the knocking even though there's clearly no one here. On the off chance someone does answer you knocking. I think I'm going this way. What's this house? Nope. Ah! I don't mean to uh, shut the door on myself here. County and kin. Station Master's house, Howard Lantham speaking. Howard, it's Clive. Clive Smith. I need you to listen to me and not ask questions or interrupt. Can you do that? Yeah, I can. But why are you calling? The Emergency Measures Committee is imposing a quarantine around the valley. We've got an influenza outbreak in the village. We're suspending rail services, and we're also going to be shutting down the roads for a bit. Uh, you're going to be dealing with some anxious people, Howard, so you need to explain it's all under control, and we'll be back to normal in a few days. All right? Open up the emergency store. There's posters and boards, along with a bunch of stuff that hasn't been used since the war. Grab anything you think might be useful. I need you to close up any unoccupied buildings, put posters up, that sort of thing. Make sure everything is all squared away in ship shape. You are a military man, I'm sure you understand that. Everyone doing their bit, following their orders. All right? All right? I think. Good man. I knew we could count on you. Ah, Jesus, please. What the hell was that? You're dead. That's what's up. something circled but hmm oh so slow up these stairs oh Creepy. Take a bath. The bath. Do I go in here? Bloody tissues. Wonderful. Splendid. Oh, down the stairs just as slow. Feels. Did I? This is the first time I saw a, a turning on and off light mechanic. Well, it might be the end of the world, but we might as well save power, right? Okay. Continuing forth trains. Getting another radio transmission here. Repeating over and over to myself in the dark, eating cold food from a can with my fingers. Now I'm my name is Catherine Collins. And I'm losing it. Catherine Collins. As if I can force the world to acknowledge my existence. Time has ceased to exist in any real terms. I'm reduced to marking off the days on the walls. Like a cave woman. Dad. I say though, if you're eating food from a can, couldn't you just not dirty your hands and kind of just tip the can into your mouth or something? I don't know why that was my first thought after hearing that. 
But I was just like, couldn't you just like put food directly into mouth at that point? Not like. And I don't know, <laughs> second weird part of where my mind immediately went to after hearing that. I thought of like weird little like what would it be, what are they called, like Vienna sausages or little wieners like inside of a can <laughs> and her just like scooping them out with her fingers <laughs> and like, <laughs> I don't know why that's why where my mind went while she's saying some depressing shit, <laughs> but yep, that's where we're at, that is where my mind is at. I've always, there was another video game I played recently where I was like walking alongside train tracks. It's very eerie feeling to be walking on train tracks, even though you know there's not a train going to be coming. So I was just like, ugh. Oh, no, I also saw a video of some people walking on train tracks when a train was coming. Fucking videos on Twitter, man. Dumb people. Dumb people. That were probably under some kind of influence. Oh, wait, too much. What's the big one? I did it. Oh, Stephen. I don't know if you'll ever listen to this. Uh, oh, maybe you've decided here. to stay with Kate, and I, I can't blame you for that. But I can't wait for you either. I've got to think about the baby. And, well, <laughs> I should have left a long time ago. I've run out of excuses for not leaving now. But I do love you, Stephen. And I hope you find peace one way or another. There's planes coming. That's not good. Bad planes. Uh oh. Not good. this game more but it's just not clicking for me for one reason or the next I don't know I'm hoping for a, a grand finale am I going backwards now Is this back at the, uh... The public footpath! Aw, oh, shit. Okay, I'm going backwards. Directionally challenged me. Where'd that ball of light get to? There it is. Where are we going? Help me out. What are we doing here? Who the fuck is like tip tip tapping over here?
Where are we going? Just waiting, waiting for me. Oh, am I supposed to? I've never oh, seen it's it. Doing they a do, thing. Though. You're overreacting, Stephen. They stare at me. <laughs> Yesterday, I went into the village, and this old woman just stopped in the middle of the street and stared at me like I had two heads. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> I'm like a walking freak show. Oh, this place. It's so insular. My I American way. you grew up here. Well, I was very different then. The culture shock. And they're not so bad, really. That's easy for you to say. Just give it a bloody chance, Kate. This was the deal. A year here, and we could be in with a real shot at Lucia. Stephen! Oh Christ, it's Lucia. Them. Stephen Appleton, I thought it was you. What's all this about a yank wife? Yank oh. wife? Um, hello. Ha ha ha. Yes, Stephen. Hi, I'm Kate. Ha ha ha. Oh, now we're going this way? If you insist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. all this Oops. oh like have we been over here up to your exact standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Zing. Frank told me. Or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen. Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married Oh, her. come on, it was just a drink. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus in a row. on tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just... I'm gonna finish to this tonight, I gotta get a Do drink. Not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're to the fridge. I know, I know you're stressed. Just... Don't. Keep away from her. Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy. I had an eye off the screen, so I don't know exactly. I was not directing the action. All right, where did we go? Where were we? What's that up there? What's this? Feels like it's the thing that I should be checking out. Looks uh, dangerous. Oh, look at this spooky ass thing. What is this? What is this? Oh no. Alright, first let me get this nice can opening. Here on mic here, here we go. Wonderful. Okay. Is this it? Is this the end? Am I done here? I can't be. I don't imagine so. Okay. Ah! Oh god! You decided to join. Hmm. 
Maybe this is the end. Oh my god, this is so fucking creepy. Oh! Hello. This looks like an ending when bit. When I was a kid, my dad found a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum went spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. This is the end, it just he was already popped up all of a sudden. Then. He spent hours without fox. Telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was... I was jealous, I think. But the fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. And it bit me. I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden. My mum panicking about rabies. Rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. Whoa. I found him crying. I done a Kent, son. That's what he said. I done a Kent, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. Hmm. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. Hmm. If this isn't the end, it's very, very the way it's feels and it's being set up, it feels like a very ND type situation. Which if it's that the case, how very weird I was just walking and then this was just here. Very sudden. I don't know. Maybe I'll just head back out after whatever this is. Whoa. Nope. Almost. Wonderful. What are you? You understand me, don't you? Oh, we're talking to the ball of light now. Well, there's no one left. Oh, I'm so slow. Just me. You know what this is? What I'm gonna do? You want light? Fine. I'll give you light. Uh oh. Don't. Oh, don't do that. After me, there's no one. You'll be all alone again. Forever. Like before. No me gusta. You've taken everyone I've ever loved from me. You've made me do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you... Kate? Wait. Stop. Kate. Uh. That's unfortunate. I mean, I like how this looks. Thank you. 
This is Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Huh. Oh. 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 Oh, it just warped us out of there. Okay. 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 <laughs> very feels like end of game moments on the plane Stephen leaned across me and pointed out of the window down there he said that's home but all I saw were patches of color I don't think until this moment that I understood that one could contain the other so completely Game. Don't let me down. Give me something here at the end. It's probably tower number two down there. Why am I taking this little thing? I want to get all the towers. I want to see. I want to feel. <sighs> Come on, game. I believe in you. Maybe I'm just unfeeling. There, it's one of those two. So maybe I'm just too unfeeling to appreciate the game, or maybe I'm just too dumb. Both, both are on the table, as is usually the case. Uh, what is? Is this a thing? No, it's not. It is definitively not a thing. Okay, tower two. Whoa, what, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. It's not eerie at all. Definitely can't open that. Definitely can't interact with that either. Oh, but we got this. I watched a butterfly dancing in a strip of sunlight. All of its life contained in a single day. The blink of an eye between the ebb of the darkening butterfly. tide. Lying there with the pattern curled around me, I saw the inevitability. The necessity of presence born from absence. The constant unfolding. Okay. Tower three. If there's a third tower. I mean, I see that, but. At a snail's pace. Is that tower three? Is this tower three? Who knows? Uh, that's a light, Austin. What are you doing? Ah, Tower Three. Your boy found it. I know it didn't mean to hurt any of them. 
I try and explain why Lizzie tried to leave with her child and why it was wrong to stop her. I try and explain that much of what it did was wrong. Let me go look at this. It shows me Stephen and Lizzie together. And I'm happy for them. Frank walks his fields with Mary. Wendy and Edward nest together in the orchards of their love. Jeremy lies at peace with his God at last. All of them are happy because they're together. I understand it better now. It is a collector of time. Of butterflies. You don't sound happy. In fact, I would say you'd sound definitively unhappy. to the next tab. Run button this game has is fuck it's, it's it's fake. It's not real. Watch the pattern lean in and time slow to almost nothing. I saw the flame leap from Steven's hand and the moment hanging the like building the power. I watched his face. And in the last second uh, the controller rumbled for some reason. Again. I almost believe he saw that I'm still not hundred percent sure about. He wasn't frightened or angry. I remember his expression, just like I remember it from the first time early that morning when he woke and still half sleeping said, God, I love you. And I loved him as he entered the fire. And I let him go, knowing I wasn't ready to join him. We have held time to ourselves here in this place. Held the light to the ground because we were afraid of the coming dark. But now we understand that to cling to the light is not living. I've spent my life watching the illumination from a million dead stars reaching for me without grasping this meaning. The light we cast transcends our death. The pattern made by our living creates a bridge across the dark. Hmm. Just please sing to me as I ascend this hill. Look at this very lit up bush. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to me. <laughs> Alright, detour. Power five. Look at this. It's like an art piece. TV monitors hung by a uh, by a tree. It reaches out from the shadow of the tower, across the observatory, over the valley, and consumes the world. Everything is light now. Everything has come to rest. The world is scored by the traces we carved into it. Our presence is everywhere. The bridge joining our stories. This world existed before we came to it, and it will continue without us. In the empty fields and houses, our traces radiate, and others will come to dance in the light we cast. We can slip away gently, unafraid, knowing that everything will continue.
Probably sounds horrible. I apologize. Tower six. Get to the tower. All right, place your bets now. Is this gonna be? Was this a good four hours, four to five hours I've spent with this game? I guess technically more than that at this point, right? I'm almost, I got four and a half. You gotta believe. Uh, nope, it's dark and spooky in there. I don't wanna go in there. I backed out wondering if I had passed like a point of no return. Okay, I'm going in. Hold your breath. Go in. Ah! Ah! It's dark. Oh god. That's spooky as hell. I don't like this. Yeah, now I've passed the point of no return. The door has disappeared. I'm doing this. Oh, so much power. Oh, I can't move. The end is coming now. I'm not afraid. We have each other. We lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is gone. And we will join them. We are born apart. Driftwood on the banks of an endless dark ocean and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough. But in between, in the single day of living, that dancing in a strip of sunlight, we can find what we miss. The love that makes us whole. The imminence. Everybody found their other. This pattern is mine. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's everybody's going to the rapture. Uh, I think I wanted to like that a lot more than I think I ended up liking it. Am I in the minority? Let me check. Bum 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 bum. bum. Damn, the PS4 is just humming right now. 78 Metacritic. Eh. I'm glad this game was only like four and a half hours or so. I If this was like, if this started approaching like six and kept the same pace, I would just, oof. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I don't like good things. I don't care about views or reviews. Get out of here, Metacritic. At least I can listen to this, uh, chorus of people during the credits.
Oh, is it the London Voices Choir or the Metro Voices Choir? Oh, Jane Squared is in the <laughs> Jane Squared. Chris Van Grass and the Fraps team. Credits. Oh, PS4 is just humming. Jet engine. Shuhei Yoshida. Um, yeah, I... I'm glad I finally played the game. That's for sure. Something that I've been meaning to play for a long ass time now. Uh, I'm, I, I can't even say like, oh, I just don't like it just because it was a walking simulator, because I like games like this. Um, I just don't. <sighs> this is gonna sound like I'm making, like, discrediting it for being just a walking adventure game. First person adventure game. I think. Whatever. Um, there just wasn't. There just wasn't enough going on. There wasn't, like... I get it. <laughs> Obviously, I get what it's trying to do. And it's, it's an end-of-the-world type situation thing, and so it's supposed to feel very isolated and uh, empty. Um, I don't know. I think I was expecting a bit more. I think that's maybe what it boils down to. Because I'm pretty sure in my... Uh circle of influence. I'm pretty sure I've probably heard mostly positive things about this. What year did this come out? Let me see. 2015. I was gonna say, I, said, I almost just caught myself saying 2015. Oh, a couple years ago. No, we're in the year 2020. <laughs> Five years ago. Jesus. Let me go, let me see, more critic reviews here. Bum, bum, bum. Whatever. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm unfeeling. Whatever. I'm not gonna feel bad for not like liking it. I like plenty of walking simulators, and this just didn't hit it for me. I said this um, during the second part, second night I was streaming this. Maybe I would have felt a bit better if I did this all in one sit down, but I don't know if I would have would have, have would have wanted to do that over the course of like four and a half or five hours. Eh. Keep checking back here on these uh, reviews here. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I was checking though, um, I was checking like the library of back catalog games I have and I realized after I was looking through my list of like short games to play, I think I have plenty more uh, walking simulator games that I'll want to get to in the nearer of futures. So I feel like I've now gotten quite a string of getting these through or getting through these and testing them out like There was this, obviously. Uh, what remains of Edith Finch that I played a little while ago? It's technically like a walking, walking adventure. Um, that one I really liked. This one, not so much. Not as much. But I know I have plenty more, so I would not be surprised if uh, in the next couple weeks I just start going through those. All these games that I've been meaning to uh, play and uh, never actually got around to. Well, there you go. Alright, uh... I'm sure this is the type of game where after stream tonight, before I head to bed and stuff, I'll probably be thinking... Or, not thinking, uh, reading... Post-game stuff about this game. Other people's opinions, just because I'm... Curious to see why I did not like it as much as I feel like I maybe should have. I don't know. Maybe it just didn't strike with me. I shouldn't feel as so weird for not liking something that I feel like I would naturally be like, oh, at least glean something good from it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. We're gonna go on to the second game of the night. Uh, very excited to start this next game. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus, PS4 remake, uh, I will have to disconnect for about three minutes or so, but I'll be right back, boot it into the game, and we'll play that for like an hour or so. Just give me a couple minutes and I'll be right back. <laughs> 